hello guys welcome to custom reactions once again thank you so much for always liking uh sharing and subscribing to everything that we do right here on custom tv we love you we appreciate you i've got lala right here hello in guys. the building today hello hello <laughs> peace <laughs> in the building today and uh, we've got tenny the entertainer right here mm -hmm. today alongside the obio the baddest david o lala i'm going to ask you at first what exactly was the most memorable moment for you in that film video? Fun. The most memorable moment. I mean, for you me. like the video. I like the video. Um. Okay. What sticks out the most was, although it's similar to a video I've seen before, while the video was on a yellow top, mm. and then the background was lighting up, up and down, and the mm. girls behind him dancing. That was really nice and memorable. That's the most memorable part of the video. The street part of it. Not really the street part. Street, street part when he was driving around. Yeah. You no, know, that was memorable for me. That was the first time. That was the first time I was see. But what sticks to my memory was mm -hmm. what I described for you. The the part of where the lights in the background were going, oh, boom, yeah. and then he was in the yellow, and the girls beside him were dancing. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. that was memorable for me. Okay, so we saw the video uh, also get on the street once again. Yeah. Uh, a video tiny entertainer yeah. alongside David O. Mm -hmm. I mean, the collaboration is on the way, and uh, people are excited. Are you excited about that? Well, the video has a way of uh, make getting people excited. Um, when I mean has a way, I mean the talks around it. Like people are talking. I'm seeing tweets from people who've already heard it. I mean they've already done their homework. Mm -hmm. Some media persons have heard it. Well, they did this with the album as well. Mm -hmm. When people say, "Oh, I've heard the video's album," it's a way of building anticipation. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, of course, I'm highly anticipating the album. I mean the the song with Tony, Tony herself. She's hyped up because mm -hmm. she's, she's really, really pushing our content to suggest that yeah, more this is one of this is like going to be a, the next big hit song for her. She, mm -hmm. I think she really believes in it as well. Mm -hmm. And then based on the words of music uh, journalists and music lovers who have heard it and who've come online to say so, then I, I have everyone has a reason to expect something big from both mm -hmm. of them. She says the video stayed at the shoot for eight hours, mm -hmm. and that's quite you know amazing. Well, the video, as we all know, is. In as much as it can be a bit flashy or it can be a bit, uh, let me say, it's always, it shows off a lot. Mm -hmm. In as much as it can be some sort of humble person mm -hmm. in, in some certain situations. We know the kind of thing he does for people around him. His driver, he went to his wedding, be, made it be, uh, was mm -hmm. his best man. Best man yeah. Even though some would say, oh, it's just to show a certain, but then I don't think he actually pushed Tenny out to come and say, oh, yeah, tell them I Still stayed eight hours. hours. I don't mm -hmm. think he did that. Mm -hmm. I mean, Tenny, who uh, perhaps has worked with a lot of artists in the industry. Perhaps that's like the high, height someone has reached for her. for her. So perhaps she didn't expect it to be like that. I mean, st staying eight hours, that means he's really Said committed. He everything they told him to do. It's committed. So I think kudos to the video. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, for Tony to come out to say it, then mm -hmm. it's really, it really did shows you mind. how a lot of artists are quite hard to work with. Mm -hmm. Because for Tenny to say he did everything that they told him to do, mm -hmm. that means a lot of artists would come to his set, want to live on time, and then they would say, "No, this is what they want to do." So I don't, I don't even for fact, I don't even think this is a. I won't say because it's Tenny, mm -hmm. because if if we haven't heard stories of Davido and how selfless he has been, yeah. even to non musicians, yeah. then it will be hard to believe. But we've heard several stories of how selfless the yeah, guy is. Davido. So if Tenny comes out to say this, then obviously it's true. Mm -hmm. And yes, he is, he is indeed selfless. In this instance, he was selfless for Tenny. Exactly. Featured on a song, appeared for a video, stayed eight hours to make sure everything was done. How how selfless can you be? Mm -hmm. yeah. First collaboration between David and Tenny mm -hmm. ever. And fans are really. How do you think this song will sound? Well, first collaborations, we do, I mean, I didn't expect it because I would have thought, oh, maybe David had some sort of bad mind with her because we know for a fact that when uh like that was released mm -hmm. uh tenny perhaps thought maybe she didn't get credit came out and said oh she wrote yeah like that for your yeah. uh, for david o. so one would have thought oh that may have maybe had some made them have some issues issues with, yeah but then it seems that not to be the case and they've since hooked up and done this song together so mm -hmm. i'm expecting great things from both of them okay and um will the as in this particular song david o, tenny um do you think it's going to have a major major impact on tennis career in 2021 well i think it will because tenny had a, an underwhelming 2020 not only had a lot of other artists 
but then she she's ready because you know her album is ready mm. and she's pushed that one to 2021 mm. and now she, we've seen that yes she has a song with davido which people are already earmarking as a hit even mm. without it being released and they've already shot the video mm. that means yes she's stuck she's loaded she wants to do the next big thing for herself mm -hmm. which i feel which i feel is what she's working towards the album is ready i watched her triple xl live when they had the, the final session with mm -hmm. fuse and everyone in there and they, they rounded it off with a with prayer session and oh well, thank you lord for making me finish my album the, the album is ready it's, it's locked in so now it's just the road to the album so perhaps they want to release this new single as a lead single to the album mm -hmm. that might be the case that's what we're looking at okay and she talked about the fact that a hit is on the way when the, she was really uh, trying to appreciate the video yeah now that brings me to the question is every song why do every artist think that a song with the video will become a hit well to put it in simple in s this most simple term the video is a serial hit maker okay um so well some criticism of his album is oh he was just singles or he uh, i was the one who is defending that there's no way that is written that oh your album must be a sort of project that flows like a study or things like that your album mm -hmm. can be a compilation of hits Vibes, yeah. I, i've said that so the video over time has proven that yes he can deliver hits and he's all about hits so why not if anybody features the video and think oh what they featured the video on is a hit then they, they have every right to think so because they're working with a serial hit maker mm -hmm. and then uh, the for example now this is another word of advice for these other young cats i know 10 is another level but right. 10 is 10 is she's passed some certain sort of level in the industry yeah. she can command respect and all those things but then i don't think they are doing a remix of any 10 is old buzzing song yeah. they are doing a brand new song yeah. which is exactly the way to go so any of these young cats who are looking to collaborate with the video please just stand your ground yeah stand your ground and do a new song with the video if, do, if you have to do, if you not do tell him no no sir with all due respect i want us to do a new song don't jump on the song that's already buzzing the light is hard I know it is hard, but then see if you're truly meant to do a song with David O, if you stand your ground and you respect the fact that yes, you stand your ground, you will do your song with David O. If not, keep on pushing. Someone else that appreciates your talent will do a French new song with you. So that's how it's meant to be, not do a remix of songs. This is not trying shot at anybody, but I've always had this view about collaborating with the big artists. Mm. Okay, so tennis contract expires later this year with Dr. Dollar. Yeah. Uh, should we expect a tenny at the end of the year? Hmm, no, I don't think so. I don't think so because a lot of these known labels usually run away from signing known acts. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They usually run from it. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even think it's a good idea. You have, if you want to sign someone, you have to sign someone you can at least control, mm -hmm. someone that you can at least teach, which is what they will look at. I mean, Leah, who knew Leah? But she's teachable. She's, you, can, you can at least tell her, oh, don't do like this, do like this, and she will hear. Mm -hmm. Not someone who has seen what the industry looks like and things like that. So yes, that's what I feel. That's why I think, um, I don't think she's going to end up with David Doe, but I just hope she's made enough money from the dollar signing Same. for to her stay to, to stay on her own. But then I think the next level for her is not to sign with a local label. She has to push her thing, push her brand towards the international front. And the examples of people who have done that, I think only go for a start, left yeah. YBNL, at first started his own band, Afro Urban. Urban, and then now he's signed to Virgin, yeah. Virgin, uh, Virgin EMI. EMI. So those are the kind of things you, they need to look at. I mean, that's the next level for her that she needs to try to, to, to get to. Okay, so finally, Tenny, uh, the entertainer, is set to drop the album. She had a disappointing 2020. Yeah. You know, in all honesty. I'll say underwhelming. Okay, underwhelming 2020. Yeah. Okay, this year, looking at this song with David O. Me. We have a hit on the way and everything. Yeah. What exactly are your thoughts about the album? Well, I'm hyped up for the album because yeah, she's already dropped a single, Joe. And Joe, good song. A video doing well. Had Shino Peters doing the whole thing for her. Mm -hmm. Yes, doing well. But if she follows up Joe with this new David single, that's going in the right direction. And if that song hits again, that's two and two for her. Mm -hmm. This year already because she dropped Joe late last year, yeah. which is still buzzing right now. So that will be two in two, and it'll be a perfect time to drop the album. And if she drops the album, and there's some two other or three other songs that are banging on there, then she has gotten. But the EP flopped. Yeah, we know that the EP flopped, but then this is different. It's a debut album, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. a debut album. It's a debut album. So, so it's different. The projected, you know, um, score score for, for the debut song. Yeah. 
based on the hype so far, mm -hmm. and everybody's screaming. There's hype about it. There's hype about it. I mean, on my timeline, okay. I'm, seeing a, I'm seeing a hype about it. The fact that you're speaking to me about right, it. I'm following the wrong people. The fact that you're <laughs> speaking to speaking to me about, about it on the yeah. show, that, that means there's some hype about it. Okay, yeah, true. So I will expect something like seven and a half over ten. Seven and seven point five. Lala is a seven point five guy. We well, want to know what exactly <laughs> you guys think about the David O. And of course, Teddy the Entertainer song. Teddy has been seen on the you know on 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 the streets with David O. Area boys here and there trying to say, oh, Obi O, Obi O, Obi O, baddest. Yes, Teddy says they have a hit on the way. We also expect a hit on the way as well. The album is coming. The single is coming. Hopefully, she's gonna drop that single before the album drops. I think that so be because like the fact single. that the people already and the one that she's already mm -hmm. posting all the videos yeah. is just pointing towards the fact that that single will drop will drop before, before the, the album. album definitely. Yeah. definitely. Well, guys, want to know what you think about that single? What do you expect from a debut and Tenny collaboration? The very first between these two, um, you know, ambassadors of a famous, you know, uh, drinks brand. Uh, you don't have to yes. Don't have to give them free promo. No, no free promo. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. We'll see you on the next reaction. For now, please stay safe and God bless.